Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another declutter for you. I'm going to declutter my lipsticks. You guys are going to have to wish me luck on this one, but I've noticed over the past few months that I really just haven't been wearing a ton of my lipsticks. When I reach for a lipstick, it's usually either a long-lasting like liquid lipstick or a ColourPop lippy stick. I definitely wear some other shades, but it's time to just go through and do a harsh declutter. I'm going to try to get rid of at least 50 lipsticks, and now that summer is coming to a close, I think a lot of them are going to be like bright or hot pink shades that I would typically wear during the summertime. If you guys missed it, I decluttered my eyeshadow palettes and my lip glosses over the last few weeks, so I will link them in the description box below, and let's jump into it. So I'm going to start with this first section right here. This includes a lot of my bright pinks or hot pinks, and now that summer is coming to a close, I feel like I have a good idea of which ones that I wore and which ones I didn't wear. And I'm not really into bright pinks or hot pinks that much right now. I feel like I haven't really been into them for a while, so it's definitely time to declutter some of these, so let's go through. I think that I'm going to declutter the majority of my city color B matte lipsticks. I really like these. They're definitely affordable and they're a good option if you're not looking to spend a lot of money because they are a really nice matte formula. But usually when I want a matte lipstick, I reach for a liquid lipstick that dries matte. So I'm going to go through and declutter a lot of these. So I'm going to declutter all of them except this one right here. I feel like that color isn't something that I have in a liquid lipstick formula, but the other three I definitely have, and I'm going to pass them along to somebody else. I think that this is the only Jordana product I own, and it's a really beautiful lipstick, and again, I like the matte finish, but I just have so many other matte lipsticks, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. I love the NYX matte lipstick, so I'm definitely going to hang on to that one, and I love that color. And then I love the NYX butter lipsticks as well, but I never wear that one, so I'm going to pass that one along to somebody else. The Maybelline Vivids are definitely some of my favorite. I love the formula. They're so pigmented, but I just don't really wear Fuchsia Flash or Shocking Coral very much anymore, so I'm going to declutter those two and hang on to Vivid Rose. This one is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's a really beautiful bright pink, but I just don't wear it, so I'm going to declutter this one. Down here I have a few e.l.f. Cosmetics lipsticks. Let me swatch them and decide which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to declutter. So from the top we have Coral Cutie, Rosy Go Around, Pink Minx, and Rich Raspberry. I'm going to declutter the first three, and I think that they're really nice. The formula is great, but I definitely have colors that are similar, but I'm going to hang on to Rich Raspberry just because that's a really beautiful color. I accidentally skipped this one. This one's in the shade Flirty and Fabulous. It's a really beautiful pink, and I love it. I'm like tempted to keep it because it goes on so nicely, but I just don't think I will wear it, so I'm going to declutter this one as well. Then I have this e.l.f. lipstick. I forget what the exact name of these are, but I really like them. I just don't think I will wear this shade. This one's in the berry color, so I am going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. I am going to keep the CoverGirl O Sugar Lip Balm. Those are one of my favorite lipsticks, so I'm definitely going to hang on to that one. I'm also going to keep this Bite Beauty lipstick. I definitely love the formula of these lipsticks. It's kind of like a berry red, so I'm going to hang on to this one for sure. I have a really pretty coral from Bobbi Brown, but if you guys know me, I'm not a huge coral lipstick person, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. I have a few of these Rimmel The Only One lipsticks, so let me swatch those and decide which ones I'm going to keep. Okay, so we have Your All Mine, Peachy Beachy, and Cheeky Coral. I really like these lipsticks. I love how they go on. I'm trying to be practical and decide which ones I'll actually wear. I think I'm going to hang on to the first one, Your All Mine, because I'm definitely more prone to wear a pink more than an orange, so I'll pass the other two along. Okay, I have two Wet n Wild lipsticks in Pinkerbell and Mauve Outta Here. I'll definitely hang on to Mauve Outta Here and pass Pinkerbell along to someone else. I love these Milani lipsticks. This one is in the shade Rose Hip, but I definitely won't wear this color anytime soon, so I'm going to declutter this one. The last one is this YSL lipstick in the shade 19, which I don't think I've actually worn, so I'm going to try this one out before I decide whether to keep it or declutter it. I got rid of a lot, but I feel like that's going to be my best section because I probably won't get rid of a ton of nude shades, and then back there I have like reds and dark shades, so I'll probably wait until fall is over to declutter a lot of those. So since I did so well, let's move on to the nude shades and see if I can declutter a few of those. This cargo lipstick is in the shade Dubai, and it's a really beautiful nude. I think I'm going to hang on to this one for sure. Next, we have the Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Naked. It's been a little while since I've worn this, but I do really like the formula. I think I'm just going to have to put it in my everyday makeup drawer and make sure I use it. So I am going to hang on to this one as well. I am not going to get rid of my Rimmel by Kate lipsticks. I think there's a few of them in here. Let me see. I only have two of them in here, but I love those. I wear them really often. This lipstick is from Merle Norman. It's just a really beautiful nude, so I'm going to hang on to this one as well. Let me swatch the Milani lipsticks and decide which ones to keep. So we have Nude Cream, Matte Naked, and Plum Rose. I'm going to hang on to the first two and then declutter Plum Rose just because I don't think I'll get a whole lot of use out of that color. I'm going to hang on to these two little white lipsticks. They are from Model Co. and they're just one of my favorite nudes ever, so I'm going to keep those. I think I might declutter this lipstick from the Sola look. I do like the lipstick and it's a really beautiful formula, 
but I just have other brands. Oh, I don't know. The, the color is really beautiful. I think I'm going to declutter it. I definitely have other shades that I reach for more often. NARS Anna is my absolute favorite lipstick of all time, so I'm going to hang on to this one. I'm going to keep these lipsticks from e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are from their Beautifully Bare line, and they're just so beautiful. I love the Beautifully Bare line so much, so I'm definitely going to hang on to those just because they're really easy to wear natural lip colors. Like, I don't wear a lot of sheer lipsticks, but how beautiful are these? Actually, I think I'm going to declutter the last one just because I probably won't wear that color a whole lot, but I am going to hang on to the first two. I have a bunch of Buxom lipsticks, which I don't know if I've worn all of them, so let me swatch those really quickly. Honestly, I don't know. I can't decide. They went on really nicely, and I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I don't know if I've actually worn any of these, so I think I'm going to hang on to them and put them in my everyday makeup drawer next month and see how I like them, so I'll keep you guys posted in those videos. I'm going to keep this It Cosmetics lipstick because I know that I like that one, and then I have a few more of the Rimmel London lipsticks. Naughty Nude and Barely There are my absolute favorite. I also love It's a Keeper, so I'm going to keep those three. Wow. I'm not doing very good with my nude lipsticks. And I'm also going to keep that Wet n Wild lipstick. Let me swatch this e.l.f. Cosmetics lipstick. I'm going to keep this one as well. It's just a really pretty pink. Okay guys, I'm going to take a break and split this video into two, so I will have part two up in just a few days. I promise I won't make you guys wait too long in case you're interested in seeing it, but I think I did pretty well. This side doesn't look a whole lot different, but I think I made up for it on this side. So I think I have around 20 lipsticks decluttered so far. I have this entire container full, which I think is pretty good so far, so stay tuned for part two. Part two is going to focus on these four sections, and I definitely still have quite a few lipsticks I need to declutter, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I I upload my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.